guys. Uh, I am here to talk to you about Ift. That's this. Home Automation Assistant in Google Home, whether it's, you know, on your phone or on the hockey puck type thing that I have. All right, so here's what you need to do. So I am using Google Home with Ift and webhooks. So one of the things you need to do is set up your Google Home with Ift, which unfortunately I'm not going to be showing you in this video. But you also have to open up the port on, so you're going to do, in my case, on my Asus router, it's the WAN and port forwarding. And I added Home Automation Assistant, the port, the IP address on the local machine. And uh, so then you can make web calls through the web hook for the different things. So the bad thing about doing it this way is for each one, you have to do it once, is you have to set up an on and off. So I can say laser jet on, laser jet off. So let's see. Um, the only thing listening, I think, is in the kitchen. Okay, Google. Laser jet on. Didn't hear me. Okay, Google. Oh, it did hear me. Okay, Google. Laser jet off. It said laser jet off in case you missed that. So when you're building the recipe, like this is laser jets on a switch also. Let me just show you the, the laser jet. So you can just go here and select laser jet. So you do that by, in Home Automation Assistant, you may normally, let me go back. So the normal look of your Home Automation Assistant is, is going to be something like this, and you can collapse the left column or click here, get the left column back. And you got to click there, and then you can actually build uh, the call. So this is what the call would look like, and I'll show you how the URLs formed. So I'm not going to show you everything because I'm going to avoid showing you my IP address that I connect to. So what you do is you can say Google Assistant. Let me just show you on a new one. So if you go new, I'll click here, new. Say if this, then that, and you type Google. And then you click say simple phrase. So over here, I'll show you my simple phrase is uh, dining room light on and then it makes a web request. You know, it fills that in. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in dining room light on, another way to say it, a possible third way of saying it, and then what you want it to say when it does the action, which I have dining room light on, or it probably should say turning. And then you click create trigger, which brings you to the next step. So I'm gonna just show you this monitor while I get past the URL part. So, and in the URL is also the password, so I'm not showing you any of that. So there's a URL section. You can select post. Um, this is optional. And then the entity ID, which you got from over here. So the entity ID is what you drop in. And let me see if I show you an if. All right, so here's, they've genericized it. So on their site, it's your IP address, or if you're using, you know, some DNS type source provider, um, the port number, API service, and then in my case, the domain is not light, it's switch. So it'd be switch and then turn on, turn off, toggle. There's a bunch of different things, API, blah, password. And then again, just what I showed you. So that makes the magic work once you have that all set up. So let, let's take a walk and, and I'll show you what's going on. So now right here, I think I've showed you this before. There's fluorescent lights up there, which, which are pretty bright. But it, we're, we're out, there's no street lights, so there's no light pollution whatsoever. So uh, it gets pretty dark in the house and there's a half wall there. I do have, you can see there's LEDs and they're shining upward from that half wall. So here, if I say, okay, Google, dining room light on. 
and it just takes a second. But you heard the relay flip. Okay, Google, dining room light off. So that's working through Google and IFT. That uh, colored LEDs up there, I don't have working with IFT. That actually works directly with Google. And that's in one of my other videos on home automation. So, okay, Google, color LED off. Okay, Google, color LED on. And then the Christmas lights. So that's the lights for the tree on the inside and the outside. So, okay, Google, Christmas lights off. Uh-oh. Okay, Google, Christmas light off. Okay, Google, Christmas light on. Cool. So I do have, again, lights under, and let me see, above the cabinets here, if you can tell. And they're on a switch right here. But I have that in an outlet upstairs, 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 in the, you know, rafters up there. And I could put that on voice command also. I just have to put one of those outlets in, which is in a pri previous video of mine. So guys, happy home automation assistanting. I've got a couple of more videos I am working on right now. I'm going to post this in 2018. So happy new year. I, maybe I'll post it New Year's Day or maybe the day after. I don't know if it's going to get good viewing that day. So this is the commercial break. One, go to flyingrich.com. If I was amazing, I would have it up. So at flyingrich.com, you can see my YouTube videos, um, my Google Plus postings, and my Twitter postings, along with the podcasts I do, like Mini PC, The Makers, Tilts, and my link to Patreon. So if you're kind, send a buck a month. And that's really all I'm asking is, you know, one, give me a little bit of input. And two, uh, you know, if you see something and like it, and go, that goes for anybody, any any kind of, you know, content producer. If you're liking what they're doing, show them that you like them. Because, hey, it takes some money, time, and effort on our part. So the commercial break still continues because I need to thank my patrons, Patreons, patrons, Patreon patrons, Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Seer, Matt Champ, and Token Linux Guy. Thank you guys so much for your support. Super big appreciation for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Guys, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy and Safe New Year. Wonderful 2018 to you all.